Hello Summoners and Summonettes, it's Gordon here, and today I'm bringing you a Gragas Jungle video on one of my Smurfs here. So, as always, let's go and get right on into it. Picking up the Machete, Double Health Pot, as well as the Warding Totem. Hi, I'm not Gordon, I'm Haruka, good luck, have fun. And in the opposite system jungle, I'm up against a Nocturne, so we have kind of the frontliner jungle in Gragas, and then we have the super dive heavy jungler of Nocturne who probably is going to go for the Devourer build so he's going to be there's not a lot of deeps so might just have to be peeling this game because we're actually rocking a double 80 carry comp we do have Lulu as well which is nice for that peel but we do have a Tristana mid so we'll see how I play the team fights here whether or not I want to peel or try and catch somebody out because looking at their team realistically if I pick off the victor, throw him into the middle of the team and we blow him up really quick, they're not left with a whole bunch of damage on their team and we should be able to kite him out. So we'll just see how the game goes and I think vision control will probably end up being a pretty big component of which team does well here. So for now I'm just going to wait in the river here, do a little belly dancing, practicing for a hula hoop contest. And then we'll take our W here and clear up the gromp with bot lane. So just waiting a little while for the minions to spawn here. And we will go ahead and plop our W. I like to W after I auto attack once and get hit just so I can use my passive here and get a little bit of health back on me. So I always auto attack and then proc the W there. That way we stay pretty healthy here. That was a really nice leash. I got a shield from Lulu and a couple hits from the van so pretty happy with that. And then we'll just go ahead and snag our Q here, and we will just start slam a jam in the minions here. I'm actually going to take out the little ones first. And then we'll only hit that one once, and then that will actually die towards the next barrel here. Because it's also slowly killing itself with the grunt buff. There we go, it's gone. Not bad. And slam a jam. And we'll actually we'll throw out the barrel there so we don't get hit. Okay. Not doing too bad. I'll just come over to the wolves. I'm actually going to hit the little one first. I want to take them out just because I can. Alright, that one will die to the barrel. And that one will die to the barrel as well. There we go. And we're just left with the big one here. So we will finish her up real quick. Nice and simple. We'll just start kiting her and hopefully make our way to red buff here. Grab our body slam and there we go. We have the combo here. Our full combo. We'll start up a drink here, and then we will E, and right when we hit E, we'll cast Q as well to start the cast time of the Q so we can get it right off as soon as we're flying over the wall there, just to maximize our clear just a little bit here. And there we go. Okay, that did die. I thought it wasn't going to die for a second there. <laughs> but I have Tristana and Vlad up in the top lane, so I don't really know if I can gank too well here, which... It's unfortunate, I would like to gank, because I... Ooh, Nocturne actually goes top. That Vladimir is so dead. I would like to have tried to uh, gank somebody. Okay, he probably had a flash. Maybe not. But I could have counter ganked, I guess. But obviously I didn't know Nocturne was going to be there. We'll see if he comes this way. He actually did just use his Q, so I'm going to try and pop him here. And he did just fear as well, so... If my Tristana comes here, I'll go in and we'll see if she can jump in on him. Alright, we got the flash out of him. That's not bad. I'm just going to go ahead and plop down my barrel. We'll slow that guy and we will just retreat up towards the top lane. So we got flash out of Nocturne for pretty much free there. Unfortunate Trist is going to miss a lot of XP in the mid lane just because she ended up trying to help me out here, which is appreciated. But uh, Victor ended up getting that lane shoved, so she's going to get denied that way. So hopefully that doesn't affect her too much. And we'll just body slam and finish up with that. There we go. I like alternating my W and Q. I think both are good spells on Gragas. Some junglers prefer one over the other. It's not that big of a deal to me. I like them both. Alright, gonna go ahead and go back. We will snag our jungle item. And then we will grab a ruby crystal and two potions here. We'll wait for this potion. And we'll body slam out just because we can regain the mana while we're flying through the fountain there. And now we can start clearing up. We can try and get some hard ganks off here. Especially knowing that Nocturne does not have flash available to him. So we might try and press that advantage a little bit. 
we'll see though. And now that I have some decent cooldowns here with my spells and whatnot, I won't kill the little ones first anymore just because we have good enough AoE with our barrels to be able to pick it up in two barrels and a body slam. Making our way over to the Grump. I'm just going to clear this up really quick. We'll smite it just because I think it's a really beneficial buff to Jungle Gragas here. Bot no heal. All right. I'm just going to dunk that real quick. There we go. And let's see if we can make a play in the bot lane. We'll try and make sure we have some vision. Oh, are they going in? <clears throat> All right. So they're going in for a fight here, which is really good for us because I'm here. They obviously they don't have heal like they said. And we'll see if we can just get a gank off. I wanted to try and gank, but Nocturne shows up. We can just fight this guy, yeah. I was going to say, he doesn't have flash, so he could have easily gotten destroyed there. I'm just going to go ahead and do Scuttle Crab while we wait a little bit here. Proc Fat Slow on it, beautiful stuff. And there we go, got the Scuttle. We'll put a point in 2W here. Let's see if we can get behind this guy. He has level 6, which is a little scary. You're going to get dunked, you're going to get dunked. Yeah, it's... That was scary. She got chunked down a little too early there, so could have gotten popped there by the victor if he just popped his combo on her, so better safe than sorry. Let's see if we can find Le Nocturne anywhere. And if not, if he's nowhere to be seen, we can get a turret dive off bot lane more than likely. All the minions are going to be right there. They saw me. They had to have seen me. Oh man, they're going back. That's unfortunate. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back here. I'll pick up a side stone. Everyone else went back, so it's kind of awkward for me to be right where I am. Wasted a lot of potential time there. I could have been farming or doing something. Oh well. Top's doing well. I'm pretty much tied. Botlin's got an advantage, and mid has Iverse Blade, so she'll be stacking. Vladimir's probably dead. How does this kid keep living? What a god! Alright, I just need to... Try and hit six really quick. But yeah, Nocturne is making it making it known that he wants to get this Nara hit. Which is probably pretty annoying. Yeah, he's gonna get dove. Oh my god, Tristan is playing the fire here though. I'm gonna come top, try and counter gank it. My buffs are up, which I do want to get them, but you know what? Sometimes you can't do what you want right away. Did he really leave? Alright, I'm gonna be pissed if Nocturne actually left. Okay. I guess I'll just do the golems then and wait. <laughs> That's awkward. I'm on the wrong side of the map right now. I really want to be on the bot side <clears throat> of the map so I can be doing things like blue buff. And now I don't have anything on the top side of the map for me to do for a little while until red spawns. So kind of running around with my head cut off at the moment. <clears throat> I guess I'll just go get some wards out before... And then we'll go over and do the buff here. Alright. Is he getting dove? He is getting dove, but he's going to be fine. Alright, let's dunk this red buff. <coughs> oh my goodness, I'm dying. I don't know what it is. Alright, finish her up. Bam, there it goes. Got my ult, so now we can definitely try and get a gank off. Nar ulted, and Vlad already has his revolver, so he's just going to sustain all the way back up to full health. That's going to be really annoying for the Nar to deal with, and obviously beneficial for me. I can't really gank there, just because if Nocturne is going Devour build, I really want to be on the bot side of the map and try and contest dragons, or force dragons for that matter. And it is a Vladimir. He doesn't really offer too much for me to gank as far as locking down the Nar, and Nar will just hop away, so that's gotta be bot lane. I'm just gonna start running bot lane. Yeah, I was pretty damn sure that was bot. They could turn that almost. They actually are gonna go for the turn. That was a little greedy of... Oh my god. Alright, might be able to pick up a kill on this Ezreal once that shield drops. Alright, should be able to get him here. Just gonna ult him into... I don't have... Just take it, woman. Alright, never mind. I get the auto off. We do have Tristan here as well, so I'm gonna start duking out with the enemy team here. And they all flash. Okay. Not bad. That was kind of crazy by the uh, the vein, I guess is the word we'll use there. But we ended up getting a one for one, so it's not terrible. It's unfortunate, though. Tristana is getting absolutely destroyed as far as farm goes in the mid lane, which can be pretty concerning for me. So I'll try and help her out here. I just knew Nocturne was going bottom, though, so I dropped everything I did and got down there. 
to at least make it a one for one for us. But I'm gonna be looking to help mid and bot pretty much the rest of the game here. Blue buffs up. I'm probably gonna take it just because I don't really think Tristana needs it to be honest. And I would like the CDR it would provide at the moment. You need to hop away. You need to hop away. Yeah, she just can't do anything. I I don't like that matchup at all. I think that's a horrid matchup for Tristana. She's pretty short range early on as well, so she's gonna get bullied by the victor and. If she ever goes to trade with him, she's just going to lose because he has a shield on his Q. So, interesting pick. Probably not working out, unfortunately. So, got the blue buff here. Going to go ahead and try and secure a scuttle. Keep that vision up around the dragon area here. We're charging that barrel to the best of my ability. And we should be able to finish it off here with a dunk and an auto attacker too. Beautiful. We'll start plopping our sight stun wards down. And oh my god, you are playing with fire, my friend. I can go in because I'm pretty tanky here, so I'm not too afraid of fighting with this guy. I'm going to throw him under the turret just to keep him in a bad spot at the moment. And I'm going to just... What? Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why Tristana jumped. Like That was so dumb to me. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense why that just happened. Oh well. I'm gonna go mid, just get the wave that he's gonna push up to the turret here. It's free XP for me. And then I'll just keep me up with the knocker in here. Yeah, that was a little suicidal of Tristana. Before I go back, I'm gonna plop down some wards. Why not? They're free. No cost to me. Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna just kill myself here. I'm gonna have to flash here, probably. Yeah, I don't wanna get tethered right there. I'm dead still. I think. Oh my god, I lived and outplayed him with the passive there. Hoo-hoo! Pop my W there to heal up a little bit. I knew the only way he was going to kill me was with Q. And I was able to heal up just enough, and he took the turret shots. See you later, kid. That was pretty, that was pretty hyphy, I won't lie. What I want, definitely Merc Trans this game. Holy moly, they have a ton of CC on their team. I'm going to go ahead and complete that, and then we will start going for some tanky items here. Against their team... I would like to go Frozen Heart, just because they're going to have Gnar with Black Cleaver and Nocturne, but it's, it's not that good against Ezreal. He's a caster AD, so kind of losing some stats there, unfortunately. Balling, can we go get this right now? I think we should be able to get Dragon here if they rotate and help me out. I'd really like to get Dragon just because it takes it away from Nocturne. Eh, I guess we can't. Mid lane did go back. They were just help me out. I think we can get this if they just come. Alright, we should be able to get this. Yeah. If Vayne came, this would be really free. I'm pretty sure we're still going to be able to get it, but I wish she would have come. Just to secure it. But it looks like we're going to get it anyway, so not bad. Pretty happy with that. Alright, cool beans. Took Dragon away, knocked her into his bottom. He doesn't have ult, so Vayne should be able to hypothetically kite this one out. And can we go for anything here? I'm just going to go for the Nocturne. Yeah, we'll finish him off here. And he's dead, and now we should be able to pick up this Shen. That wasn't the best. He's just going to get CC'd down here, though. That all was unfortunate just because the timing. He used his taunt, and it almost saved him there. But luckily it didn't. So two kills for us there, and Dragon. Good stuff. <sighs> With <laughs> I would like to help mid, but I literally I can't gank for Tristana. She doesn't do anything. And she's just getting pushed into turret all day and can't do anything. It's just, just That's probably one of the worst matchups I've ever seen in the mid lane. So hopefully we don't lose the game because of it. Victor's getting so far ahead. But I got my Merc Treads, so that's pretty good. Trist, you should go top and Victor go mid. Or Vlad. You're getting pooped on. I can't even spell, but it's all good. I just really want her to be in the game right now, and she literally can't do anything against this guy. So hard to play mid. Yeah, I agree. Alright, just gonna finish up the red buff here. We got it. Alternating Q and W again. We're having a pretty good game so far, though. 2-0-2 out of the 5 kills the team has, so pretty happy with our participation at the moment. We'll finish up the chickens here, and then I'll probably make my way top and see if we can... 
I set that just because Dragon's off the map, so I don't have to worry about Nocturne getting that. He shows bottom, he's gonna be bottom. There he goes. Hopefully she'll live. Nope, gets shut down, that's unfortunate. Lulu's gonna die too. Damn, that's a big, big double kill from them to pick up. So, hopefully that doesn't ruin us too bad. Alright. Got that. I still can't gank for top. That'll die to red buff. Or for mid, sorry. And he's dead. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just don't like it. Let's see if we can pick him up here. Gonna try and ult him into a body slam and W. Okay. One for one, that's not bad. I'll take that. That's actually good for us, in my opinion, getting that one for one. So, Vlad and I will just nuke out the wave here with our AoE clear and probably be able to take the turret here. We have a full wave. No, my Nocturne shows up. I'm just going to go back and get my blue buff because that is up. So lucky for me, I'm able to pick up a freebie on that victor there with ultimate as well as the other abilities. Just going to start popping the blue buff here, smiting it to get some mana back, and we'll slam a jam. Bam! And there it goes, right buff will pick that up. Cool beans. Alright, mistakes were made this pick pan. I agree, my friend. Alright, got the grump. Almost level 11, that'll be awesome once I pick that up. I'm gonna come bottom. I'll plop down a pink ward here, see if it is warded. I don't think it is. Okay, it's not, so I'll just sit here and see if they do anything crazy. Actually, I'll move up. This isn't warded either, okay. Could be good. Might be able to bait Nocturne if his alt is up again. If a fight does go down here. I'm wanting a fight to go down, I don't know if it will. Alright, there's the miss on a Shen, and boom. Get him condemned, that's gonna be a kill for us. Simple enough, good bait, and good Lilo ult to secure Vayne's life right there. Oh, he almost Vayne spotted into that Ezreal queue. Hopefully he lets me go back here. Thank you, Lulu. Alright. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna get the Frozen Heart here just because I really want to stop this Nocturne. Ezreal's not too big, so I'm not afraid of him. I just don't want the Gnar and Nocturne to do well in these fights here. God, she's... <laughs> she's getting destroyed mid lane. But luckily every other lane is destroying as well, so we have that going for us. That's gotta be bot lane. I'm gonna try and make my way down there, but yeah, they're already dead. Four people bot lane. Yeah, they just, they need to respect that. They're not respecting the globals at all out of the enemy team, and we're paying the price for it. It's so predictable, yeah, it is predictable. They should have been a lot more passive, so. Keeping the enemy team in it, unfortunately. Vladimir teleporting just to save. Alright, well he used E and Smite, I'm just gonna E over the wall, goodbye. Vladimir, I mean, he wanted to save bot turret, but can't really do too much with that TP. Oh shit, let's fight this. Alright, gonna stun up the Ezreal, he's just gonna die here, he should die. I'll try and plop him back, okay, just kill him with my ult there. Well, that was good. So, got a freebie back there. Just picking up free kills left and right here. Just gonna put down some wards before I make way elsewhere. They did just ward that. I don't know who it was. I'm pretty sure it was Shen. But I don't want to face check into anything crazy here. I know Victor is right there. Yeah, I was gonna say he's pretty close. I'm gonna go ahead and plop down this. We'll see if we can. We might be able to kill this guy actually, just straight up. Never mind. Nocturne's gonna try and leash me up again. He doesn't realize I can just dash out of all of his leashes. This is not a good spot for us to fight. We might be able to kill Nocturne here. And in that case, that won't be too bad. Knocking him aside there. Gets one. Beautiful stuff. Got the slow. This is going to be chain reaction slow here. And boom. Kill there. And she lived. Nice. Very, very nice for us. Oh! She juked it. Oh. She almost ran back into it. That was really close. But she lives. Ezreal is going to get bopped by this... Uh, Am I gonna die? Okay, we didn't. <laughs> I almost died to that Ezreal. That would have been awkward. Can we get this? Okay, we can get this. So if Lulu stays, we'll have shields, and we should be able to pop this before anyone comes here. Nocturne did just die, so he's just now rising from spawn. So this should be secured for us. Beautiful stuff. So got the dragon, got a whole bunch of kills on us. I'm 5 0 5, absolutely massive. Gonna start getting a little bit of MR on me, though, after this Frozen Heart just because I want to have a little bit of safety from that victor and Ezreal. I mean, Ezreal does quite a bit of 
choke and AP damage as well. Alright, let's snag that red buff and then we'll try and just keep the pace that we're going right now. It's looking good for us. Bottom air is huge. That is a ton of farm on that kid. So, doing well. Forgot to mention, I am currently 1-1 one one in my diamond series on this account, so hoping to just go 2-0 in my next two games to get the diamond on, I don't know, my fifth account. I don't even know how many diamonds it is, but figured I might as well just finish up all the accounts, get them to diamond, because the season's about to end here. So, mine as well. Vane's a little too far, she's probably dead to be honest. Yep, I don't know why she's trying to 1v2. She almost got a kill, but almost only counts on hand grenades and horseshoes. Damn. I think he's going to be sated soon. Alright, we'll just group this wave up. Plop it on a barrel. Throw a body slam into it as well. And the next barrel, it all should die. Alright, most of it. One minion left, my bad. Is that a bot turret? That is a bot turret. Nicely done. Nocturne's going in on towards the flat, but highly doubt he'll be able to get anything off there. That TP actually comes in. Okay, never mind. They destroyed that kid. Alright, well, we need to respect Nocturne then. He's getting to the point where he can do some serious damage on the team here. Alright, Q it. I dare you. Never mind. I thought he was going to Q it, but still got the Scuttle Crab. <laughs> I didn't actually kill it with my smite. Alright, lost top turret because Vladimir couldn't answer as he died in the bot lane and then died top. So, enemy team keeping themselves in the game here, which I don't like. So we'll try and do something here. Maybe make a play here. Oh, wait, he lost his turret. I led. No play to be made. This kid. Piss me off, kid. You're messing with the wrong Gragas. I'm fed. You forgot that. I'll fight you too, dude. I don't give a hoot. I don't give a damn. I don't give a, a hoot nanny. Alright, where they at? Where they at, though? Nice, 1v1 on that Nocturne there, that's big for us. Taking him off the map. Yeah, let's let's do this, team. We have Lulu and myself and Vlad, but I guess not. We'll just respect their range here. And, oops, I threw that one kind of out of nowhere, but ended up not mattering because the body slam repositioned them, luckily enough. I just want to fight, man. Why are we getting? Why are we getting picked? Why is this happening? Why? Why is this happening? Can we not throw? They're gonna go mid. Yeah, I have to come and help wave clear here against the enemy team here. And once we get Vayne here, we can actually really realistically fight this here. Ezreal actually tanks turret aggro for a little bit there. I'm just gonna go for Ezreal. I actually hit him there. He's gonna die here. And we'll try and pop the Victor back in. We do pop Victor in. We'll see if we can get the body slam. We do. And the slam a jamma into the slow. He's going down. Shen's here as well. I'm just going to try and keep Nar off my team so they can pick up the Shen. Which they did. And this guy pissed me off, dude. You won't kill me this game. <laughs> I'm not going to die, man. Ezreal up soon enough, but I should be healthy enough to not worry about his ult being an issue and killing me. So I had to flash away from the Nocturne, respectably, and not die to that. But we are getting absolutely huge. That Nar might die. Nope, he's gonna live. Got the turret, nice. We'll go ahead and pick up this bad boy. Oh, Nocturne died again, nice. And we will start building towards probably a Banshee's Veil. That'll just help me get through all their CC that they could provide and let me do my stuff. And then after that, we'll probably go Thorn Mail or something along the lines of that. Nice, we took two turrets off a bunch of kills we got as well. This is over Chase, this is over Chase. Hopefully they can just get out. We got Shen all, which is good. But hopefully, no kills. Eh, Vlad got locked down. He might be in some booty. I'm gonna try and rotate over. Why are we greeting? Rip. Rip. We're so greedy. Stop being so greedy, team. Please. Their greed might make us lose. They're gonna go for Baron here, more than likely, so it's gonna be a smite off between me. He just flashed for her. I think she's dead, unless she has flash, man. Alright, she had a flash. And looks like I'll have to go back in here. Actually, just slam a jam this Ezreal. See you later. 
I'm fed. We're gonna go ahead and pop the Nara away from the team. He's gonna explode here, hopefully. Does explode, gets the reset. Tristana should be autoing stuff, hopefully. And she actually dies, and you're gonna die now too, because you locked up for no reason. And we are just throwing. <clears throat> Thanks for the leash, I appreciate it. I will just go ahead and finish up my chickens. Get out of here, dude. <clears throat> I do have someone coming from my team. I don't know who it was. It's Vayne. I'm going to die. I'm not in a good spot. I walked the other way compared to where she was. But I didn't know because I was blinded, so... I guess I'll use that as my excuse. They both should die here, though. Never mind. That was a really bad tumble. Had to flash. Still got the kill, though, so I guess it's not too bad. Sucks I got shut down, but they used a lot for it, and we ended up getting all the kills back. We could even go for Baron here, realistically, so... We'll see if they go for it. Vlad and her might be able to do it. If not, the safer play is always just drag in there. Picking up that third D. You cannot solo it, woman. You're... <laughs> How stupid as hell? You just chunked yourself to half for free. Please use brain. Alright, our Tristana did hit two atoms, which is nice. Not too bad. Finally scaling up a little bit here. And we should be able to get this dragon as well. I'm going to run all the way over here. Hopefully we get it. I don't think they have anyone who can realistically steal it unless Shun goes over and like auto steals it somehow. Finish. There you go, team. All right, got the third dragon. That's beautiful. Nocturne still isn't sated to devour at 26 and a half minutes. That's so kind of concerning for the enemy team. Vayne in the middle of their whole team again. It's not worth it. You killed the support, and now our super fed carry is dead. It just it. It's not registering in my brain why we would go for something like that. I'm just gonna try and slow him. Ezreal might have just killed himself. Alright. He's not gonna die here, actually. I don't think he is. I could have killed him, actually, if I just committed to that. We're actually just throwing this game because my team is so greedy. Which hopefully. Well, we'll still win, but they're playing out of their minds greedy here. And it's kind of ticking me off, to be honest. Alright, there goes blue buff. Cool beans. Let's go ahead and just get Gromp. Always doing something here, always clearing. Nocturne did just hit Sated, so he's got a pretty big spike in power there. And I'm going to go bottom, even though I shouldn't. It's a big wave. Hopefully they don't rush Baron. I just have to get rid of this wave, though. It's too big for my likings. Alright, I'm just going to smite it and barrel it and get rid of it that way because I can't afford to be on this side of the map for too long. We don't have any wards, man. Not good, not good. They could be on it right now and they would destroy it with their team. Oh, they're not doing it. Luckily, Victor didn't go, so I don't think they're doing it. Oh, they're just catching the Lulu. Oh, he missed his taunt. That could be very good for us. I'm just going to go try and pop the Gnar here, force him out. He's very chunked. And that wasn't too good of an alt for me. I should have done that earlier. But for now, we'll just take out Shen, get him off the map. He should die. Okay. Not bad. One for one. And do we want to do this? Oh, it's got to be mid. I think that's the only one he has vision of. Did he have vision of Vayne? Oh, he had vision of Vayne. Oh, because she went deep. Why are we throwing? I don't understand. All right. Another. Oh, almost throw. That was really close to being a big throw there. Might be able to pick up this guy. Did get him. I'm going to die here, though. Hopefully, Nar dies. Nice, and I think she beats him. Oh, that was really close. Everybody dead. Vayne, please just group with the team. I think six of her deaths are her just being solo and getting killed solo. Luckily, Tristana can get turrets being solo here, but... She shouldn't have to be solo, we should just be straight up winning. What's the point of playing Vayne if you play like a bitch? <laughs> playing with the team isn't playing like a bitch, it's called using your head, but whatever. Uh, I don't think I should go... They don't have any crit on their team, so Randy's wouldn't be too smart here. What do I want? Should I get the thorn mail? I think I should get a thorn mail. Alright, so we'll start building towards the Thorn. I'm actually just going to upgrade my sights down here, because can't really buy anything else at the moment. And I want to have a ton of vision control around the Baron area. Red's about to be up, and if Vayne's not going to group up, I'm just going to go to Vayne, to be honest, because if I just sit with her... JK, I know that was dumb, sorry. 
Thank you for admitting you're dumb. She's playing good, don't get me wrong. I'm playing well. She's got a whole bunch of kills, but then she's just trading trades that shouldn't be happening. One for one trade when we're ahead isn't good for us. That's actually good for the enemy team, especially when she dies, because she's got a large majority of our money. I'm gonna smite that. I want that. Alright, this could be bad for us, but okay, Nar just ulted, so that's not bad. No Nar ult. 100% wasted his ult there. Did about 2 damage to me. I'm on a ward. That's weird. Yes, Nar did just ult. For real. Actually, let's just go mid. Screw it. We have positional advantage of him here. If we just go mid, this guy just hopped over the wall, and now he's gonna pay the price for it. He just got chunked down to half for free, because he hopped over the wall in vain. Demolished him. I just got a peel for the vein here. Oops, never mind. Body slam that guy, he should be dead. Okay, there goes their whole squad. Two dead, and we have pushing power here. We have minions. I'm just gonna let them start tanking. And we have Tristana, who will just melt the turrets here. That was a throw by Nocturne. He thought he could get the one shot, didn't get it, and their team paid the price. We might even be able to just win. We should be able to actually win. Nar has no ultimate, so we won't have to worry about that. I'm tanking though. Let's start popping turrets. Eh, maybe we can. Got a lot out of it though. Whole bunch of damage. I'm just gonna eat over the wall. Maybe we can get Baron off of it. Oh, we're fighting. Oh, that guy almost died. Oh, he did die. Beautiful. Almost got the slow on Shen there, not gonna get it though. I think we're over chasing just a little bit. Can we peel back and do maybe Baron? Oh, Vayne's going in. The good old Vayne throws here. Okay, she actually didn't die, but <laughs> she's going so ham, dude. Yeah, don't have enough money for anything. I'm just gonna home guards because I really want to be back. Dragon spawning soon, don't want them to do Baron and stuff like that. So I'll go ahead and actually position down towards Eh, either or, I guess. Nocturne and I are the same level here. He might rush, YOLO rush for the uh, Baron here. It'll be a 50-50 steal more than likely. All right, they awarded that, so I'm going to go around this way so they don't know where I'm at. He is still doing it, though. We got 650 on the smite. We might be able to just go in for a fight here. I think that's the best plan of action. All right, we'll see if we can pop this Nocturne. I'm going to throw him into the team. I want him dead. There goes their jungler here, and this should just be money in the bank. Baron, it did regen, but we took their jungler off the map, so we should be able to just nuke it out here. Vayne's actually on the flip side, kind of being crazy, but it's, okay, she got a kill. Suddenly worth it. She did die, but you know what, we'll get Baron for two kills as well, so definitely worth it. Oh my god, I was scared, I won't lie, but luckily... Had enough damage just barely to pick up that Baron. Because just on the bomb was going to pop at the same time my body slammed and stuff. A lot of random burst happening. But we got Baron. We should go get our fourth dragon just to secure a nice clean victory here as well. But in the meantime, until people come, I'm going to go clear out bot lane. Just so we don't lose anything to the turret here. Alright, there goes most of the wave, and now I'll just go to Dragon here. Don't have Smite, but I don't think we'll need it, realistically. Because no one is nearby. Glad and I should be able to get this easily enough. 9, 2, and 14, though, having a pretty damn solid Gragas game here in the jungle to hopefully put me 2 and 1 in my Diamond series on this account. And eventually we will get this Dragon. Alright, and Dunk Barrel combo. Beautiful. Got it. And now we'll just get blue buff, and then we will get our thorn mail, and head on and group up with the team, and hopefully take the W here. Oh, I love it. I love it. The CDR on this build is pretty nice as well. 34% with blue. Feels good. Got that. We'll go ahead and grab... Ooh, not gonna all rip. We'll grab an elixir of rune, just for more health. Why not? Oh my goodness. Oh my... Is that... Oh, you're dead. <laughs> just gonna zap her. <laughs> it was a good try until Victor showed up. I thought she could have done that realistically. I'm coming here. We, we can fight this. We can fight this. I'm gonna go ahead and just try and cause havoc on the back line here. And you can't escape me, man. I will kill you. Where is he? Oh. Alright. You can throw all of your abilities at me and you ain't gonna kill me. 
just ain't gonna happen. We'll throw an alt here. Oh, I thought that would have hit Ezreal. I said. Uh... Oh, she killed him. Nice. Where'd you go? Oh, she. Wait, I can win this. I have Thorn now. I don't give a damn! I'm tanky! I'm a donkey! Oh! Later, kid! Oh, is that. I'm dead. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have the outplay there. I should have awarded and it might have killed them a little bit quicker. But meanwhile, Vlad's just pushing to end the game here, so that's good. Pop the alt, nice. And gets feared while he's in pool, not too bad. And he should be able to kite this out, yeah. Flash for flash cube? Flash cube? Or is he just faster than him? Oh, maybe not. He's still pressuring though, he's gonna get that inhib turret and maybe even inhib. Damn, I am tanky though, let me tell you. That's just out of turret range. Alright, that should go down to minions. Yeah, it'll, it'll die. He can't kill that big minion quick enough. Alright, boom, there goes the tower. Beautifully done. And he can just walk it off. What do I want to buy? I'm full build. I don't think I need to buy anything else, to be honest. Maybe sell my sightstone just because we have big map pressure here. I'll figure that out later on, though, if I do get a chance to back again. Uh, nice. Vane lives there. Should be able to... Don't walk that way. That's not a good way to walk, though. Uh, if we do group, we could just go as five and start knocking down inhibs though, which is what we should do. What would I want last item? Maybe sell Sightstone for GA or something. Just be unkillable. Super annoying. Alright, where is it? It's mid. Luckily I'm here to help out my boy here. I'm just gonna try and CC up the front line of Nocturne. We should die here. Oh my god. Save me, baby! Oh, we juked it! Am I dead still? I think I'm dead still. Pucker up, ladies and gentlemen. Holy moly, we lived. Vane, meanwhile, just backdooring both inhibs here. Or just one, I guess. Oh, man, that was a full pucker right there on the b-hole. Uh, she's fine. Okay. We'll see what she can do here. We'll sell this. I don't have enough money. Why do I sell that? What do I want? You know what? We'll get a harbinger. That sounds broken. We'll plop that on Vane here because we don't have one on our support just yet. And it'll be pretty good because I'm tanky as hell, so I should hypothetically always be with her and be able to proc that pretty often. And it'll get me some nice CDR as well. Alright, we're actually throwing pretty hard here, though. Let's just group. Alright, we group up, we end the game easy peasy. Dragon in two minutes, we can get the fifth dragon that way, and we can get in hips as well. Damn, I'm so tanky though. They must fear me. Oh, I do have double 80 carry as well, so we can put it on Tristana as well while Vayne's dead and get Harbinger use that way. So, I'm gonna be able to make really, really good use of the Harbinger here, hopefully. Dragon's up in a minute. We should just go down mid while we wait for Dragon to spawn, get that second inhib, and then things will look pretty, pretty good for us. I don't need to get minions here, actually. I shouldn't be hitting anything. I'm full build and have been full build for quite a while. Vlad has teleport, but he should already be here, honestly. I did just stop his ult, but he's still gonna get onto the Tristan here. She's just dead. And now I'm in a bad position. I need to go this way, and he's gonna slow me here. I do have ult, so I could get away that way. Oh, man. All right, let's throw them all away here. Shen can't kill me, Lulu gets to me, and now I just walk it out like a champion. See you later, alligator. And <laughs> Vladimir's just pushing top the entire time, so only losing one, not bad there. Vayne actually, okay. Vayne going ham there, and Shen suicides in. Victor dies, that's gonna be the game here. Finally ending the game, 12, three and 17. Big score there. And we'll actually go ahead and plop the Harbinger on her just because Tristan is dead. He just hopped. I want an assist really bad on it. We'll go in for the body slam. We do hit it. And he'll just die there. I don't know how I got that kill, but I like it. And here comes Nocturne, and there's the Surrender Vote. So not bad at all. Pretty solid game. Move to... Wait, did I have Elite? No, I had 1-3-3-1-7, I think. It was close. Almost had Elite somehow. But yeah, move to a 2-1 in my Diamond series, so pretty happy with that. If you like the video, go ahead and throw a like. I'll have all my other social media, such as Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook, as well as Smashers in the info box below. And as always, guys, I'll see you all next time.